What's going on guys? Logs here and welcome back. Hello? Welcome back to some War at War. Uh, I was hoping to play Castle, but apparently I just joined the game and got kicked. So I honestly don't know what's going on. Now it just says awaiting connection dot dot dot. I think this is a sign that I should just get off the game. I mean, this is the first game I've tried to record and this is what happens. I think it's just a sign to get off the game completely. So we might do that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how long this is going to take. Server connection timed out. Great. I, I don't know what's going on. It said outskirts, but now it's castle. My freaking PlayStation is now frozen. Great. All right, so I restarted my PlayStation. Hopefully it doesn't kick us out this time, but there's actually 42 people playing right now. So it is later in the day. It's almost 10 o'clock and I joined a full game of snipers. Why, why do I try, man? I really wanted to play Castle because I wanted to make this entire video about how Castle and Dome are actually coming to Call of Duty Vanguard. So yeah, Call of Duty Vanguard is actually remastering a couple of maps and we've seen Castle and Dome teased already. I've already made a video talking about this, but I am super excited because these maps on this game are just insane. So I'm just gonna load into a private match because I honestly can't no, play I'm and I wanted to off. showcase this map anyways. But yeah, man, they are remastering this map of Castle castle and i cannot be happier man i mean playing this map 24 v 24 with the blitz uh game mode is gonna be insane imagine playing patrol or hard point and like the hard points here and literally everyone has to rush in and try to like freaking shoot each other to get to the hard point now obviously the game mode war hasn't been announced for vanguard but i hope to god that they have that game mode because that game mode literally made every map in this game playable because World of War had insanely huge maps. I mean, we're talking like cliffside, downfall, upheaval, sea low, outskirts. These are huge, huge maps. And it's crazy to think that you could play like 6v6 team deathmatch on. But the game mode War literally forced everyone to play the objective and forced you closer and closer to the flag every time you captured the flag. So the spawns really made those maps feel smaller than they actually were. Call the Cold War actually has the war game mode. It's called Assault, but it's only playable in Combined Arms 12v12. It's the biggest waste of the game mode I've ever seen in my life. Literally no one plays Combined Arms 12v12 anymore. So the fact that you have Assault just mixed in with like Domination 2, it's just such a waste of a game mode, man. This is a perfect example of a huge, huge map which I don't know if they're going to remaster or not, but if they did, they could definitely make this good by adding the war game mode. The war game mode on this map literally makes it seem small because of uh, because it just forces people to play the objective, forces people out to shoot each other and all that. He's using camouflage. I honestly didn't even know that they had camouflage. I mean, it's pretty much just ghosts and new Call of Duties. Can I, can I kill this guy? Thank you. There's perks that I never thought people would actually use. I'm running Bomb Squad right now because I just think it's funny. And also, you'd be surprised how many people plant Bouncy Betty's on this game. It's, it's actually an absurd amount. Oh my god, last stand. I kind of forgot about that. I hope that does not come back to Vanguard. The fact that you could run Last Stand and Juggernaut really makes me mad. Oh gosh. Don't tell me he's crawling through. No way he crawled through. Oh my god, this player. And I talked about this in the video yesterday, but like the dogs, it's really cool to see that they brought back dogs, but they're not anything like these dogs. I mean, these dogs run in packs and there's like, it feels like a million of them. Um, but in the new game, it looks like there's only three or just spawns one time. Oh, what? Oh, 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 there's no way I just missed all those. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this game, dude? I can't wait to see what Vanguard brings to the table. I hope they add the PTRS. That's one gun I hope they add. The Arasaka, obviously. The Springfield, that's a must. I might play with the STG, to be honest. I mean, I I don't know. The STG was a f fun gun to use. PPSH was also really fun. I think I'm gonna play this game out with the PPSH and the flamethrower, that little combo, because the flamethrower in this game, when you went locked at level 55 or whatever it is, 65, this thing was insane. You literally get unlimited ammo in multiplayer. Like, come on. Like that, come on, that's cool. Let's see. 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Barbell. Dude, I wish I had my paddles on my controller right now. Oh, I got that. I got that recon perk. I can see through the walls, boys. Yeah, dude, this gun was literally my favorite uh, SMG in the game. I mean, the MP40 was the most overpowered gun in the game, but this gun was the most fun to use. I mean, the fire rate on this thing. Come on, dude. That fire rate is insane. That might be the fastest shooting gun in Call of Duty. I mean, I'd say either this or the Glock 18s from uh, Modern Warfare 2. I don't know what their plan is with Vanguard, if it's going to go kind of the World War II route or the Modern Warfare route. Because World War II, that whole overhaul where they added in like Wanderlust and all those like specific perks and shit. Let me get a quad feed. Let me get a quad feed here, brother. Yeah, once they added Wanderlust and stuff and did that whole overhaul, um, it was pretty interesting. I think it made the game a lot more fun, but I don't know if they're going to go that route with Sledgehammer on uh, Vanguard because Vanguard looks like it's going to be a little bit more serious, a little bit more like a realistic first-person shooter instead of, you know, that cartoony game feel. This PPSH is really fun, and I like how they have the three kill streaks. Um, I kind of talked about that yesterday, but the fact that they have spy pine, dogs, and then uh, artillery. There's no way he just tried to. There's no way he just Panzer Shrek to me. Dude, point blank, and I just kept rolling. I, like, I'm a true Marine. 18 year olds nowadays would not last five seconds in the army like if there was a draft and they had to go dude it would be outrage you couldn't get them to go you literally couldn't get them to go that's why if they ever had to like initiate a draft for you know a freaking national emergency like just no one would go i guarantee you no one would go oh we got castle thank god dude this is exactly what i wanted to play for the video this will be my last game because i just wanted to showcase castle and all its glory man this might be probably my favorite map to play war on i mean just the war game mode pushing you to the middle like right down there is just so much fun it's either this map roundhouse or upheaval upheaval might take the cake though the amount of sniping clips hit in this spot right here where you just watch them spawn in is just insane and also my signature spot back here i had i think i have the most triples and just clips in this spot out of anyone obviously my clips don't count but still i think i have the most of them that's a teammate there's no way that's a teammate dude dude how many bouncing bettys can you have oh that's a statue There's no way. There's no way. I was about to die there. Dude, I felt so helpless there. Like, I couldn't move. I couldn't shoot. It felt like I was, like, literally walking in quicksand. I really want to go for dogs. Like, I feel like I get on a good kill streak if I play this right. I've actually been really into, like, getting kill streaks all through uh, Call of Duty. Like, I've always been into it. But just sniping kind of took over my passion. Really, just making videos and sniping and montages took over my uh, Call of Duty interest over the years. But kill streaks was, like, one of the first things I loved doing. Like, going for nukes on MW2 and stuff. Like, I love going for that stuff. Okay, please let me hit a shot. Oh, I got dogs. Can't even see them. Oh, yo, yo, give me that 10 kill streak. Like that's a given. At least one of them has Juggernaut. Yo, let me go off, son. For those of you who don't play World at War, never call artillery in the map because it just shakes everyone's screen, even your own teammates, and it's super annoying. I'm calling it in the map because I just don't care. For those of you who don't play World at War, never call artillery in the map because it just shakes everyone's screen, even your own teammates, and it's super annoying. I'm super, super excited for Vanguard beta, man. Playing it on the PC will be so fun. I just can't even express how excited I am.
What really sucks is that I work Thursday through Sunday right now for my current uh, my current work schedule. So the beta will come out and I will work every single day of the beta. And I can't really get off on the weekends because there's just not enough people working. Damn, I went 22 and 10. That's probably my best game of the day. And I think I'm gonna end it there, boys. I'm gonna end the video there, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I cannot wait to bring you some more Vanguard in the future. Leave a like if you liked the video, comment down below if you have any questions that you want me to answer during another video and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one deuces